Where were they going? They were going to Emmaus. They were downcast and the sun was setting. It has been a lonely three days, but it has also become confusing. It is a lonely three days because they, look, they were looking for meaning and they could not find it. Where were they going? They were going to Emmaus, walking. What was in Emmaus? Emmaus was the vacation place. It was a resort place. It was a spa place. It was a place to forget. It, is, it was a place for leisure. It was a place for recreation. After the sufferings, the confusion, the pain, the frustrations of Good Friday, the disciples wanted some freedom from the stress and they were going to a resort spa. And uh, where were they coming from? They were coming from Jerusalem. Jerusalem was not a resort spa. It was the place of the temple, but it has also become the place of death. It was where the Lord died, just outside the walls. The Lord died there. So, on one end, there was Jerusalem. Shall we stay with the grief? Shall we stay with the desolation? Shall we stay with the frustration? Shall we stay with our broken hopes? Shall we stay with our broken wings? Shall we stay with our woundedness and just lick our wounds here? The other option for them was to go and relax. Go for leisure. Go for a spa. Go and relax. And even momentarily to forget. But the Lord had a different plan. When the Lord appeared to Mary Magdalene, our holy patroness for the missions, the Lord said, Tell my brothers to meet me in Galilee. Galilee? Why not Jerusalem? Are we not told that you will find him where you lost him? Why not Emmaus? A happy relaxation place. Why Galilee? What's with Galilee? Galilee is the place where the kingdom of God was first proclaimed. Galilee is the place where the dreams were born. Galilee is the place where the mission was realized. Galilee is the place of our infancy, the cradle of our vision, the cradle of our hopes, the cradle of our dreams. And the Lord said to them, Meet me in Galilee, where our dreams were born. Meet me in Galilee, where our vision was set forth. Meet me in Galilee, where we saw each other and fell in love with each other, where you started to follow me. On this Sunday of Easter, my dear friends, we are being asked to Return to our first love. When we were younger, we were always told romantically that first love never dies. It is not just a romantic statement. It is a statement that is full of meaning, full of truth. First love never dies. Just try to recall the first time you were made aware of your vocation. Just time to try to recall your ordination day, your profession day, your first day in the novitiate. Just try to recall the first time when you looked at the face of the Virgin face to face and that ivory face seemed to say something to you, exclusively for you. Go and return to your Galilee Go and return to your first love because our encounter with the Lord 
is not just in the passion, in the frustrations, in our desolation. It is not just in the leisure, in the poor substitutes, in the recreation. Meet me in Galilee, where our love was born, where, you, where our eyes met, when we sang our first song, when we shared our common heart, when we dreamt together and promised to make those dreams come true. Where is your Galilee? Where is your Jerusalem? Where is your Emmaus? Let us meet the Lord in the Galilee of our lives. There is something beautiful in the first love. There is something beautiful in the history of our first encounter with Him. When our eyes met, when our hearts met, when our spirits met, when the fire was first born. Today, do not go to Emmaus. Do not return to Jerusalem. Let us meet where our dreams were born, to the cradle of our mission.